Hello everyone and welcome to the review of the Seizure Aura X Pro document scanner and this is a one of a kind device as it's a combination of a spaceship technology and office equipment and you are going to see why I'm calling it that way because it's not a conventional document scanner uh, it's uh, not only a uh, winner of several awards including design awards uh, you see here but it's actually a novelty device and uh, we are going to do a quick unboxing first and you are going to also see that device that I'm calling it uh, a novelty so in the box you are going to get of course the power adapter you can observe the packaging which is uh, I'm going to call this premium packaging um, it even came with this. This box was packed into another box and that box had a lot of uh, tape on it to secure it and uh, to make it easier for you to take this out from that box it has this little cloth thing and it was uh, taped on the box uh, and it was taped only on one side so you can actually pull it out and then with this you could just uh, uh, take the tape off so really smart to do that uh, then we have here the foot pedal you are going to see this also uh, we are going to install them all of them you get here some LED lights I'm going to tell you that uh, those are LED lights and we get foam between them so they do not uh, rattle in uh, transport then the scanner itself which doesn't have any kind of resemblance of a scanner document scanner you know that those big clunky things that uh, take up uh, half of your desk and they have a big lid that you open them up and they have a light that goes inside and makes a lot of noise nope it's not that it looks like this and yes uh, this probably supports teleportation by the looks of it and those are lasers so probably it has also a built-in lightsaber uh, okay more foam more packaging more premium packing and we get here the finger cuts a really smart thing you are going to see them in action and then we have the USB cable because this works with a PC and we have the scanning pad which again this is kind of a premium quality thing I'm going to open this up if you can distinguish if this is real leather or not it looks like leather interesting anyway and it's also labeled with their brand and it has this opening here because you are going to see why just a bit later so that's all in the box I'm going to remove the box and now I'm going to install the scanner the scanner sits like this on the table it has very simple control it only has one knob here and it has some LEDs here but how can you scan a document it's not going to scan a document like this because you can actually flip this thing it goes like this and you get this camera with this all LEDs here and lasers that are going to point down toward your document here first particularity of the pro model is that it can actually run without any kind of power because it has a built-in battery built in into this base and it has a charger so you can charge it and use it everywhere as long as you connect it to your PC because the software runs on the PC uh, but you are no longer requiring a cable to supply power so you can use this on the go with your notebook so your notebook has battery this has battery we can travel with them and you don't have the need for a mains power to make them work and this has a lot of runtime with the built-in battery also it can be used yes as a desk lamp so you can uh, read documents underneath and you can adjust the brightness from this knob here and also from this knob here you can switch to scanning mode and lamp mode and now we switch into scanning mode and you can see here it has an LCD that turns on and this is used for actually uh, seeing the documents and uh, you can adjust it so it gets into the image so you can scan it and yes this scans the document by using the camera with the built-in LEDs and lasers and stuff so it just takes a picture and that is a lot more faster than using a scanner or a normal scanner that has that uh, lamp that goes under the document and needs to scan it then return then scan again 
and does a lot of noise and takes a lot of time and sometimes creates streaks and uh, bad things. Another interesting thing is this uh, LED lamp. Uh, you may know that uh, when you are using a flashlight on your mobile phone and you want to take a picture of a picture, the light from uh, the phone LEDs that flash creates a very powerful glare over glossy things and makes it impossible for the picture to be taken correctly. Uh, because this works in a similar way, so it has a camera and LEDs, if you try to scan something that is very glossy, you may end up with a lot of flashing things, but no details because the light is reflected back, so it's not going to do the job properly. So Seizure has thought of that and it has this adapter that has LEDs that shine in a dedicated angle uh, and this completely removes the glare and this uh, goes in here magnetically and now it's installed and you have an option to switch the anti-glare lights on and uh, let me show you so I'm going to turn this on it's in lamp mode I'm going to switch so this is normal top lamp and I'm going to switch it to scan mode and now I'm in scanning mode so now I have glare and if I want to remove the glare I just use this touch button here so the light has changed to these LEDs that shine the light this way so the glare goes in that direction and there is no glare for the camera which is perpendicular to the image. Now let's take a quick look at the accessories so you get all that you need it's a full kit uh, we get the USB cable and it uses a standard printer scanner USB cable then we have the foot pedal because when you want to scan a lot of pages uh, you don't want your hands going on the laptop and pressing buttons scan next page or pressing other buttons because your hands are going to be busy by uh, turning pages then you get this foot pedal so this connects to the scanner and when you press it it tells the scanner to take one picture so you can then turn the page press the pedal again turn the page press the pedal again and you are going to scan very fast and the software does everything that's needed to be done without you intervening over it then we get the power adapter the power adapter comes with several plug types so you get USA you get UK and you get European type of uh, plugs and you can quickly switch between them so even if you are traveling for business you can take the scanner with you and use it in several continents actually and this is a full voltage adapter it works from 100 to 240 volts so it works both in 110 uh, volt, uh, volts areas and 220 volt areas so you can use it worldwide then we get the finger cuts these are very interesting things uh, when you scan a book I'm going to get a book uh, this is the manual actually so you get here a software on a CD or DVD uh, we get instructions side lights installation guide and it gives us instruction on how to use that we get here a software download option because they have updated software on their website so you can use that CD or use a newer one and we have here a manual so let's say I want to scan this manual and the manual will not stay like this of course because it's new it's small so how do you scan it because I'm going to hold it with my fingers like this and I'm going to get my fingers into the image so maybe I don't want to scan my fingers each time when I scan a document you can actually use these adapters because they have these graphics here and the software has a special function that recognizes them and when you hold something with these something like this the scanner will know to completely remove them actually you need to hold them something like this it's in the manual it explains you and when you hold this like this they are going to completely be removed and replaced with something that will resemble the full page with no interference actually the software is so smart that it can sometimes even manage to 
take your own fingers out of the image so if I'm not using these adapters and I'm holding this like this and I'm not covering actually the image or the text the software will try to remove my fingers from the image and I'm going to magically get a white page underneath my fingers with not my ugly nails in uh, in there so really really smart thing and these adapters also will help you a lot and also they are really nicely made they have kind of a rubber pad here so do they do not slip over the page because if it's going to be just plastic plastic slips really easy over paper so these are going to held it in place really nice so everything is really nicely well built and even the pedal if you listen to that click It has a, a really precision trigger, so really, really nice to work with such kind of uh, pedal. I'm also going to show you a bit more about the build quality. For instance, on this part here, you get this small notch, and in that small notch, you have a small rubber foam insert. And it has a notch over there, so when you fold this, if, if you press it harder or let it go, that notch is going to go into that rubber so this doesn't make a lot of noise or hits very hard so it's on a soft thing. Also if you have this backlight installed, magnetic backlight installed and you don't want to take it off, how can you actually unfold this back on because you cannot push it from here, maybe you can but it's hard. Well, They actually made a hole here so you can put your finger through the light so you can unfold this really easy. So it lines up with the uh, best way, best way to place your finger to take this out. Then on the back side you have this. Uh, this is just a touch button that switches the lights uh, from the glossy to non-glossy ones. And here you have the connectivity, and you have the USB cable for the. Uh, PC, you have the uh, power input to charge the battery and you have the button pedal uh, option and also you have a reset button there if something goes wrong with your scanner you can uh, reset it and now let's put it to the test the installation is rather simple you are going to install the provided software on your PC then you are going to connect the USB cable you are going to switch this into scanner mode so the top uh, LCD here works display and you can see here that it shows a USB connection and now you are going to wait as it's installing the drivers and you are going to get image on there it takes sometimes even a few minutes to install it but uh, it's done uh, automatically you don't have to do anything and now if I'm going to press here on scan I'm going to wait a bit it's going to say that it's looking for device it shows that if it's not working to be sure that it's switching to scanner and it's not on uh, lamp mode and now you are going to wait a bit and after a few moments the screen will turn black all the text is out and you see this orange rectangle the scanner is now working and it's actually looking for things to scan and you can see here that it has some kind of object recognition and it tries to frame that so I'm going to use this provided manual and let's see what the scanner will do and you can see that the orange thing is following exactly where I'm putting the document and I don't have to put it straight I don't have to align it with anything uh, you can at least try to put it straight but if I put it that way that's no problem it's going to recognize it and it's going to scan it that way so if I do the scan option you have here several options that you are going to tell the scanner that you are scanning a single page you are scanning two pages like that so you can select the option here and now I have several options I can uh, click here on uh, scan directly so now the document is scanned I can select auto scan and this scanner will try to scan each time when I turn the page and it's another page it will scan it by itself so I don't have to do anything else or I can use the provided pedal and I'm going to try it so I'm going to press the pedal and yes it has scanned again also you can scan several pages 
for instance I'm going to scan now two pages and you can see that it has grabbed both of them in one single image and because I have told this that it's a one single page it's going to scan them both into one page but I can also put that there are two pages here and you can see now it shows the shape of a book and it has the line where the pages are meant to be joined like this and now it knows that it's kind of a booklet and I can scan and I should have two pages of the book and you can see here that now I have to scan pages. We are going to take a look at the software a bit later in more detail. Another nice feature is the laser and the uh, correction for the book. Uh, if you want to scan a book, you can see that the book has a curvature. Uh, when you scan a document, uh, that's going to turn out really bad in a normal scanner because you are going to put the book that way and even if you put the lid on, the book still has a curvature and it's going to be somehow black around here, you are going to see text better here and on these sides here it's, not, it's going to be pale. What happens with this scanner, you are just going to line it up here where the book joins you are going to use the finger coats or my fingers like this and the laser will actually scan the shape of the book and it's going to use an advanced algorithm to correct that so I'm going to scan it like holding it this way I'm going to use the pedal so it has scanned the book and now we are going to look at the software alright and now let's take a look at the results in the app I'm going to turn off the scanner so I have less glare here it gives me a warning that I no longer have it available okay so this was one of the first scans you can see the normal page let's zoom in and we have pretty good resolution uh, probably my monitor is going to give you some glare let's see if I can somehow adjust the brightness nope I think this is the best um, and you can see here pretty good details but this is actually not at the best quality right now because if you go back into the settings here you have here a lot of things that you can customize in the app so you get the resolution then you have DPI and it was at 240 but you can go at 300 others and you can go here up to 1000 so quality can be improved a lot more than uh, it was here and then you have here image format uh, JPEG but also image quality can be low default is medium and then you can also put it to best so you can uh, greatly improve image quality just by apping the DPI here or for at least 300 and then also using here larger image uh, formats so uh, I have improved right now the image quality but the scans were done with low image quality then you get this page here this is the book page and you can see that this was rather flattened out it does have a bit of uh, more yellowing tint here it's more visible on the camera here than on the monitor here because that's how the light and colors work when you film a monitor uh, but there's no bumpy curvature of the book and I should have also the other page somewhere here let me see uh, I did scan a few more uh, no nope, not this one Let's try this one. This is the other one and you can see here that my finger that was holding the book it's no longer present it has been deleted and you can see the book doesn't have any kind of shape of my finger it does have here uh, some kind of smearing so that's where my finger was uh, removed and it even kind of uh, remade the lines of the pages here also the software provides a lot more options such as uh, uh, cropping so you can actually delete all the unnecessary part here I can leave just the page like that and 
I can save it that way so you can fully edit this as you wish then you have uh, options to adjust contrast, sharpness, thickness so you can do a lot of tuning before you save the pages and you can do that in uh, batch conversion you can do uh, batch mode so it runs uh, options for all of those pages so you don't have to adjust each page itself uh, then you have the optical character recognition which is very good uh, you have here not only Chinese and English but you can put a switch on others here and you have a lot of languages here as you can see and they actually all of them work so you can uh, select uh, whatever you want here then you have options here for the export file, it can be a document for Word, uh, it can go into an Excel file, it can be a PDF and then you have options here to save the PDF image quality for instance or if I'm going to choose Word I can choose the size of the page so it does paging directly so you have a lot of uh, customization here for the export then you have options here for uh, keep original image or auto adjustment it can do some other tweaks of the image so you have a lot of flexibility the software does most of the stuff automatically by default but you can customize each of the uh, single one of the parameters so you can get the best out of your image the seizure scanner also has another uh, trick so you have an app uh, for it and you can select this model and it has an audio communication mode from the phone to this and you can control the lamp so when it's in a desk lamp mode you can set the color by an audio sound and you can see that so now it's a smart night light you can have computer phone light you can have natural light reading light so it changes the light color then you can also adjust the um, intensity of the light, same as you do from this switch here. Uh, then you can also turn this off or turn it back on. Uh, it doesn't use any kind of wireless or uh, Bluetooth or anything. It just has a microphone and picks up the noise that your phone makes each time when you press uh, a button here. It's kind of an interesting way. But that's the whole functionality of the app for this model. It doesn't scan documents on the phone or anything else. It needs the PC software to work with. And now I'm going to show you a few more options from the app. So you have this uh, very interesting color mode uh, when you choose this. Uh, so be besides having contrast, sharpness and the thickness, you can go to color mode and you have this auto enhance. And if you select that, uh, for books for instance my very old book here that is very yellow it's going to adjust it and you see here the page is now not so yellow uh, you can also convert it to black and white if you want to and you get the text over white just like a new book then you also have options for grayscale um, there's a lot of options you can uh, customize this and you have some uh, other things such as stamps patterns and uh, non uh, filter option this is just to adjust the image this is uh, the original scanning um, so you can adjust it and make it more easy to read after you scan it uh, then you also have this auxiliary correction this is very interesting this is how the algorithm for uh, book uh, scanning works here are the laser lines that have scanned the camera. You can see I have not placed the camera. This is another test I did. So not to bore you with too many uh, captures of uh, this book. But you can see here I have not placed the book correctly. Uh, one laser is straight while the other two lines are following the book perfectly. And you can see that the book is more curved here more curved here and less curved here and the laser did exactly I have also used the finger removers so try them also and uh, 
this is how the software works and extract the pages and corrects them this is very important especially if you want to use uh, uh, OCR after that um, when you scan uh, the page if the page is aligned correctly it's going to have absolutely no problem in extracting all the words and paragraphs and phrases and even signs for uh, uh, such as comma dots uh, exclamation everything is going to be scanned perfectly and if something goes wrong with the algorithm and the automated one, like all the features from the app, you can manually adjust them. So you have here adjust the central seams. So you can directly move this point here. For instance, it was not like that. It was like this and I can move the other one as I, and I have adjusted where the book pages meet perfectly. Then you can do the same with the laser lines, but I cannot do with that line because the book should have been a bit lower. You do have options here to adjust also the lines and you can actually even completely redraw them if you want to. You can move them. I can move the line and I can say that it has a bit of curvature right here. So I move inflection lines here, uh, but that takes a lot of time so I don't know if you are going to uh, adjust the line for each of the pages but if you really want to adjust you can even adjust the laser lines it may be something went wrong you have placed the book wrong and you no longer have the book well you can adjust the lines and uh, do re-editing of that so the software gives you that uh, possibility Last but not least, the software also has a video capturing possibility, so you can actually record the file. First, you need to select a location where it's going to save a file. I'm going to select that and you can also do freeze frames. So I'm going to select that. And if I'm going to press on record, now it's going to record what I'm showing here. So I'm going to put this. Maybe I'm explaining you something from the manual. You are going to see the result. You have here some options also in the app to draw things. So I can do a line uh, like this. I can do a circle. It's just like uh, the old paint app. You can choose colors. You can choose uh, rectangles. All right, and now I'm going to stop the recording. Let's see what I have done. Here, so I'm going to put this. Maybe I'm explaining you something from the manual. You are going to see the result. You have here some options also in the app to draw things. So I can do a line uh, like this. I can do a circle. And of course, it also records sound and what I have drawn over it. So oh, it's really nice and all the features work. With the video option, you can actually also use this as a web camera because that's why you can have video from this recorded directly. And probably this is detected by Windows as a camera, as a web camera. Let's check that also. And if you open an app such as Skype, you can already choose your camera such as integrated or the seizure camera. And I already have live video from it. You can see it's working here. And it's interesting also when it's in a video webcam mode, you can also adjust the intensity of the LEDs. So uh, they can be completely off so they do not blind you or you can put them at a minimum and they are not uh, uh, very bright so they will not uh, blind you or you can go full intensity uh, that's good if you want to send probably an image of something you want to show a document or something else similar so this makes uh, an addition to some kind of presentations also, Seizure makes a lot more uh, models, uh, bigger one, uh, higher resolution ones, more compact ones. They also have a model that is a dual uh, IP camera scanner. There are ones that work with the battery such as this one. So I highly recommend giving their website a visit and checking out all of their uh, models. Until my next video, see you and bye bye.